Oh, I hit you once and then you take 70, and if you're on ledge, you'll die. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. So, uh, right now, uh, Jules' w win condition is keep Falco off stage. Falco has a really exploitable recovery, and oh wow, already, like right off the bat, getting a uh, down B reflected. This is yeah, gonna like, be super big in the matchup. Off right now. I love the fact that. Ooh, good conversion by Jewel, but this is the exact situation he wants. Let's see what Seal can do to get out of this situation. Jewel just so polarizing at ledge. And I love the fact that Jewel earlier used the Thunder to call out the side B. Oh no, he's dribbling, he's dribbling. <laughs> hey, Jewel plays Robin like a basketball player. He's always just breaking people's ankles in silence. And right now, you just see like Steelix, like, I feel like he's scrambling a little bit, he doesn't know what to do, and right now... He's got to get a hang of the movement as soon as he can, but he is getting off the ledge very well, compared to someone like Jewel, who mm -hmm. doesn't exactly let people get off the ledge for free. And that's going to be a four to knock him off just a little bit farther, um, and he's going to try to come up with... He doesn't have any arc fires, so I can't let you happen there. Oh yeah, that, that's true. That's something you have to keep in mind of as well. Uh, but right now, he got the arc fires back. Gonna There's be really, a little meter. <laughs> Seal's doing a good job on not letting Jewel seal the stock anytime soon. And I feel like... Great roll there, great roll there. Steelix, just having the inherent like experience of playing Robin, he's yeah. able to circumvent a lot of Jewel's ledge trapping, but the dash attack dash closing attack gonna do off it. the stock. Jewel's at a very comfy 86%. <gasps> That was almost big. That was almost big. But he followed up with just like a thunder. <laughs> it just felt like, like a nice little quick Nah, you can get percent. conversions up a little thunder. Very good back air out of shield by Steelix over here. I'm right now 42%, not too much of a significant lead. This is going to be like one drag down for the up throw, up air, up air, back air, 50%. Already Steelix has taken the lead. He brought it back. Here he oh, the jab lock. Unfortunately, doesn't get anything off it. Very smart roll. Very smart roll. It was so perfectly timed, too. Just to like punish Jewel and make sure he doesn't get hit by the other Urg fire. Like, this is where you see Steelix's experience that was coming to great play. punish. Ooh, he chucked his own tome at him. Great <laughs> edge guard by Steelix, but, but unfortunately, he doesn't make it, make it. But Jewel does, in fact, make it back. I mean, Robin's. Recovery is definitely not something to sleep on. The angle has enough mix to it. It's it's quite. It, it covers so much distance so Steel quickly. Steel seems to steal this stock as fast as he can because. And that Florida oh, is more than enough to take it. <laughs> he did. Great edge guard attempt. Great edge guard. Great edge guard. Exploiting the fact that Robin doesn't have a hitbox on him or her, just like on the way coming up. Um, and you see right now, Jewel instead of opting for like the thunders that he normally goes for, he's like putting a, like a lot of pressure on Falco's shield. Oh no. Big damage. This is what Jewel wants. My man's at ledge. But again, like Steelix just has He's very good at getting back to the ledge and playing center stage. Ooh, up tilt. This is completely even. Uh he was trying to get a down air and attack chase on the platform with a bit too greedy. More damage. <gasps> what? Ooh, what? Great! Dunk by Steelix! But, but he didn't even hit him he with the him. toes. He dunked him. Look, watch the replay. Like, watch the replay. That's like a melee Falco hitbox. No, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Uh, uh, 63. Boom! Look at that. He hit him with his body, hit him with his torso, and got the spike. That is so evocative of melee like a Falco. Curse on stream, I would say something Falco. But I'm not doing that tonight. Wow. I f that was an amazing move from Steelix, like completely flipping the momentum. And right now, Jewel must be just a little bit tiny shook just to lose the stock so early to that. And okay, Steelix so. just walks off his multi champ. Exactly. He's like, I, I'm going to head out. <laughs> and right now, I think something to note is just like how differently Jewel is playing and getting the Nosferatu. Definitely. He definitely adjusted. He adjusted. Oh no. Ooh. It's crazy how Robin has combos on block. Damn. We're really playing traditional fighters out here. We really have block strings. That's he wild. actually does have block strings. <laughs> With a drag down. <gasps> the drag down for right, that was kinda, but That's not enough to take I don't it. like Falco, but that was kind of that was kind of clean by that was a little. That was, that was pretty solid. Felix is definitely like. 
and the forward uh, this should be the stock he has to like here, you know, capitalizing off the fact that that's no, so brutal. Mm -hmm. Fa Falco and Fox both like after they side beat the We saw what Felix thinks about Stockley because he just takes him right back. Oh, Jewel wasted his uh, upbeat tone, so that way he could get a. Uh, he wouldn't have to. How do I phrase it? I don't even know how to phrase it. But Projectile? So yeah. He just has something to hold in his hand. <laughs> no, so when he uppies off stage, it won't affect him. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, That was an interesting Nosferatu. I don't believe he meant to uh, throw it in that direction, especially considering Falco can't catch from A to B so quickly. Um. Ooh, trying to lead the high recovery with the back hit, but the forward is so active, still able to cover that option. And that's definitely, you see something Jewel doing a lot, using like his arc fire to get back onto stage, just to like basically keep his opponent off. But against a character like Falco with such a menacing reflector, you know, it's able just to turn that attempt around the Jewel. Steelix doesn't care though. Steelix is not care. This is big. This is big. Jules off stage. Awkward silence. Awkward silence. <gasps> and he got the up spike. That's hype. That is so hype. I'm not going to lie. I thought Jules was I thought Jules was that. I thought that was a down air for Falco and that would have traded the ball to the boss's dog. Position reversal. Wow. And Steelix has been, like, in the first game we saw, like, Steelix drop a couple of things because he got a little too greedy. In this game, you see him going for a lot more, like, consistent bread and butters. Jules like, wasn't too happy about that spike. Mm -hmm. Jewel making sure he doesn't get hit by anything like that. I believe. But again, Steelix missing the spike hitbox. What kind of hitbox? He got the reverse. That forward is just so menacing. Yo, Van Falco. So difficult to contest. Ban every character in this game. That's not mess, of course. Yep. Anyhow, another Nosferatu. Like, Jewel is able to like reverse the tide of the set, but the back is... Up stuck. Like, you know, uh, Fox and Falco. Falco needs one up one up tilt just to not I jewel. love that wall jump. That was so clean. Jewel getting really, really patient. Making sure to just throw him off stage. Make this another. Wow. I feel like Jewel's blood trapping here was just like so methodical. He was just like covering so many bases at once, ready to react to anything that Steelix could That's throw out. That's what Jewel did that's a really interesting, like, full hop down B. Not really sure about the attention behind it. Um, Calls him out with the... What was that? Let me start. Yeah, I was on the Unfortunately, I gotta go play Dill, so I'm off commentary. Later. All right, well, good luck. Have a fantastic set. Um, but yeah, so game three, Jewel versus Steelix. I, feel, I don't want to say Steelix robbed the first game, because that was genuinely a fantastic down hit. It was a really, really great two-frame. But I do think Jewel had so much more left in that stock that, you know, Jewel right now is just here to... Jewel going into game three is just going to make sure he's, like, really, really careful of not being off stage. When he's off stage, he's going to be recovering so methodically, making sure that he won't be losing those stocks so early again. And Steelix, is he going to opt for the Falco or for the Robin here? Um... Wow, choosing to go for the Robin Ditto. This is really interesting. This is not something that you see a lot. Though coincidentally, we did have a Robin Ditto last Three, week between Steelix two, and Zero Um go. Going to town and city. But fantastic stage for Robin. You know, able to so, uh, just like, um, you know, dance around the platforms. Camp each other out really well here. Ooh, and right off the bat, like Steelix is able to get a great conversion of the... Arc fire into a forwarder and forwarder. What? You know, Steelix is playing like a completely changed man right now. Like, he's. He. he I, I love the fact that he's just able to completely switch up his playstyle. Even though it is different characters, but like, the way he's just like carrying his neutral right now is just so different. And that just says a lot about the player. But the spike! Almost enough to take it, but. Wow! Jewel ended up taking that talk. That was amazing. Just like calling out the fact that Steelix was hanging on for the ledge so long. The Nosferatu, um, not really the best uh, choice there considering Steelix is at 0%. Um, well, actually, maybe he did have a little bit of percent before he healed. Goodness, I might have made a mistake there. Um, regardless, Jewel right now is getting all the extra credit that he can on the stock. Um, 
not adapting to the fact that Steelix is shielding those oak fires, because that could have been a really, really great grab. <gasps> great air dodge from Jewel, making sure to circumvent the alpha. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to keep track of. Alpha Thunders and books and tomes being thrown around. And right now, Steelix has the ledge trap right now. Ooh, just barely missing the edge there, uh, which could have confirmed into the Thoron. But he's just a little bit too much position forward, so he has to be very, very wary of that um, as he's ledge trapping Jewel. Um, but right now, Jewel controlling center stage. Steelix in the corner. Great Nosferatu from Jewel, just bringing things a little bit closer again. And it's like those little extra bits of chip damage and those extra little extra uh, percents in favor of Jewel that bring this back. But the Thoron, enough to kill from center stage. <laughs> you see Steelix crouching down a little bit. I'm not sure if that was an intentional teabag or not. Regardless, he's having fun with it. Um, Jewel maybe trying to lead an air dodge with a down throw. Trying to, uh, you know, go with an up air. But regardless, able to take out the stock so, so well with the F smash. Huh. I really love Jules Drift there, making sure that he wasn't going to get hit with an arc fire. Um, he's doing a great job right now. And right now, Steelix committing so much off stage, but Jules still is able to come back. And once again, Steelix is opting for these uh, Nosferatus at 0%. And right there, with two arc fires into an up air back air, that's already 69%. And Robin's damage output is definitely not, not something to sleep on. You know, Arcfire is such a menacing tool that can convert to almost everything at any given percent. Jewel is off stage trying to stall out those Arc Thunders. Really interesting choice of getup attack there. Like you see, you didn't see him use that all set, so a really great mix up because you saw Steelix, you know, trying to grab, but the back throw not enough to take it quite yet. This is the ledge trap opportunity, but Steelix still slicely misspacing the arc fire. Steelix has to play a little bit more back. Uh, Jewel throwing him off stage. Pack throw definitely not enough to kill across the stage. Um, I'm surprised at the multi jab kill, but. Steelix, I would have expected Steelix to go for the Gentleman instead. Um, Steelix trying to get a jump out of shield with those forwarders, but Jewel just opting to stay in. Um, not jumping out, not risking any commitments. <laughs> this is really, really entertaining. We're just throwing out Thunder and out Thunder and shielding each other once. But the up air, wow. Oh, he's out of forwarder. I couldn't tell the animation didn't finish. But right now, Jewel... Like, the set of game, like, I feel like Jewel's adaptation is just something I constantly gawk over. Because every time you see, like, Jewel commits to Nosferatu, like, he is landing it. He's landing it. He is capitalizing so much off of it. And, oh my gosh. But Steelix, I mean, he put up an amazing fight, especially in, in the Robin Ditto with Jewel. Um, and also considering the fact that he switched his mains halfway through into the set.